Welcome to the Emporia State University Library. This video will briefly review the front side of the Creating a Research Question worksheet, which has been designed to help you formulate a research question about your topic. In the first column, simply write a topic that you want to research. Make sure that it is something you are naturally interested in, or something that is important to your major or future career or current course assignment. That will help you stay motivated as you work on the paper, which is important because if you're not interested, your writing will be uninteresting. And frankly, reading a bunch of uninteresting papers really sucks. The second and third columns are for breaking down the topic. Let's say, for example, I was interested in the oceans. Now, through reading about the oceans and watching shows on the Discovery Channel, I've learned that many shark populations all around the world are threatened, and that some of those sharks might even go extinct and I decide to write about that. Now those ideas, those smaller ideas, would go in the next two columns. Now, to get the relationship between restricted and narrow topics, let's think about the research era we looked at for EG 101. Now restricted and narrow topics fall in between your broad topic and your thesis. You may not be used to breaking down the topic like this, but when it comes time to seek and collect information, the process of narrowing can really help you focus your efforts. Once you've broken down your topic to a narrowed topic, you can then start to think of questions that your research should help you answer, which can then become your thesis. The rest of your paper then becomes a detailed explanation of your position. In our shark example, a possible question could be, how would it affect the fishing industry off the west coast of the United States if we did not protect shark populations? One last point before we go. Understanding what type of research question you have asked can help you determine the kind of information you should be looking for. At the bottom of the page are four major types of research questions. Comparison, cause and effect, measuring, and process. Comparison questions ask about how a problem affects different people or things differently. Sticking with the sharks, for example, we could ask something like, are cold water sharks more threatened than warm water sharks? This question would make us compare the two populations. A comparison question would push you to look for research that either directly compares the players or aspects you're looking at, or that could help you build that comparison you want to make. Cause and effect questions can focus on the causes or sources of the problem or the effects the problem has had on certain people or things or situations. Or they could examine what effect certain possible solutions would have on the problem. The example on the worksheet is a cause and effect question. And these questions require that you look for research about how a situation came to be, how a problem affects specific people or populations, or look for research on what effects certain actions could have if taken. Measuring questions have to do with the extent or magnitude of a problem. A possible measure question could be something like, how much are fish populations negatively affected by disease in areas where sharks are seriously threatened? Measuring questions often look for similar kinds of studies and research as questions of cause and effect. The answers to these questions, though, simply ask us to focus on the numbers associated with the problem, and we answer them by telling how extensive the problem may be, or how much it would cost to address the problem, etc. Questions of process can also be related to questions of cause and effect. For example, what processes led to this situation? But they can also look at processes involved with possible solutions. We could very well ask, what would we need to do to protect shark populations? Or we could ask, more specifically, how can we go about setting up marine reserves along the California and Baja California coasts to protect falling mako, great white, and blue shark populations? Again, process questions ask, how is something done? The worksheet includes a second example to simply give you better perspective on the process. Forming a research question may seem like a lot of trouble at first, but in the end, doing so often leads to a much more focused and effective argument, which, of course, can lead to success in the classroom and later on in your career.